Hi friends, I'm very happy to see you here. I'm Uma Shankar Pandey and this is the Dr. USP channel. I host videos on media, communication and research on this channel. In my last video, I introduced you to the qualitative data analysis software Atlas TI. The use of artificial intelligence makes code generation a lot more easier. It provides a much deeper insight into documents and text and video and audio files. Let us see Unleash the Power of Atlas TI with AI Code Generation, a step-by-step -step guide in this video. The search and code tab allows us to see text query, named entry recognition, sentiment analysis, opinions, and even concepts which are there in any document. So we'll use the same project that we had for the last video where we had, if you remember, these newspapers from Hindustan Times, Times of India, The Telegraph, and we also had a video and an image file. And if you remember, we had coded uh, these nine codes there on those documents and we'd also divided that them into groups so now that we have the documents let's go to this search and code tab uh, here on the ribbon we'll begin with the word frequency first there are a number of options as you can see here we'll have the text search also today we'll discuss named entity recognition uh, there's the sentiment analysis we'll also talk about concepts and opinion mining we click on to word frequency it asks me to search for the document. So let's search these uh, nine documents here. We can see the word frequency of all these single character words. We are also including numbers here. If you want, you can uh, remove these numbers so that we don't see numbers here on this word frequency. An important thing to remember here is to exclude the stop words. For example, if I do not exclude the stop words, then you can see we'll get things like the, to, in, of, etc, etc. So we exclude these stop words. And if you want to exclude a particular stop word from the one that exists here, as you can see, these are all the stop words. E, about, etc, etc. These are all stop words that, uh, that have been excluded here. If we want, we can add new words that we do not want uh, to appear on our word cloud. So we will uh, exclude English stock words here. It provides us with other options also, but uh, we're not dealing with that here. So here, if I click onto one of those things, it tells me how many times it appears in all the documents that we have. The word Varanasi it occurs 83 times. So if you want to go to any of those words, we can just, for example, if I want politics. So I just need to click onto this word, right click. I can go for search in context. It will provide me all the places where it has occurred. If I click on to these things again, it will take me to the actual file and it will tell me that this is where it is coded. So it is telling me that this is coded here. If I want, I can add codes here from this word frequency or from the word cloud. So as you can see, this is a very easy option for telling us what are the themes that we are looking at. So now let's see another very important thing here which is the named entity recognition this is the option it tells me it asks which are the document groups i want to search so for example let's uh, say that i want to search for htn toi i'll press continue here it provides options of either paragraphs or sentences that has these entities person location organization and miscellaneous i'll continue it is searching for all these documents and it is showing me that these are the entities that it has alphabetical order for example aap here occurs nine times and uh, i can search for only persons by just checking of these things so it, it shows uh, 360 entities which are regarded as person so I can have just the person or I can have the entity so I can create groups from these categories for example if I want to code for say for example Ajay Rai here who occurs five times I'll just click on to here I can have Akhilesh Yadav 
I can have uh, Amit Shah. So based on these, the ones which are occurring more than once or, or the ones I think are important for my analysis, I can include them as codes here. But the important thing is that it is giving me all the options about all the things that exist here. Gandhi it shows me as a person, so I can use them as a uh, code category. So I can create code groups from these categories. So if I click create code groups from these categories, I can add these codes here. This is showing me that this is the text or this is the quotation. So it's showing me all the 21 paragraphs which contains this entity type. I can just add the code here with the person, Gandhi. And if you can see here on the left side of the screen, the code has also increased from 9 to 10. I can click on to all these things, the ones that I want to add with a proposed code. So it gives me the quotations as well as suggested codes. I can also use locations. I can use organizations. For example, if I want AIR to be coded and there are two places where AIR is there, I can use that. For example, BJP occurs 128, so I can code things as BJP. Bihar, I can use as a code. So I just need to check this box and create codes from these categories. So the named entity recognition is a very useful way of creating these codes. Similarly, we can go for sentiment analysis as well. So we just need to click on to sentiment analysis. I want to include these two newspapers. I'll click on to these things. It will show me all the document groups or I can use the individual documents also. So it asks me or it tells me that it can show me paragraphs that contain positive sentiments, neutral sentiments and negative sentiments. I'll ask it to show the results. So this one is neutral. I can apply all the codes at one go or I can apply only the negative ones or the neutral ones or the positive ones. So for example, I want to apply all the codes here. So we can see that all these codes have been added to our list here. I'll go back. So I have 491 paragraphs which are containing these terms positive, neutral and negative and I can code all the 491 paragraphs here. If I go to codes here, within sentiment, you can see that there are I have 187 negative quotes, I have 6, 239 neutral quotes and 65 positive quotes. So just by looking at the sentiment analysis, I can suggest that there were more negative news than positive news in the three newspapers that I have sampled here. So these are very uh, easy ways of uh, adding codes there. Another way in which I can add codes is by looking for concepts. So just go for concepts. I just uh, include all these newspapers. So it is showing me that these are the concepts here. For example, if I want to find out the concept of uh, caste here, there are 19 tokens there. I'll just include this and I get all the options here. This uh, concept analysis is a very important way of showing uh, these concepts which I might have missed otherwise. So I can use caste as one of the codes there. So I can just, as you can see here on this right side, I can create a coding with caste. Or I can just click on to this. So the ones I want to add, so these codes have been added here. We can also go for an opinion mining here. Similarly, I just need to select all these. So for example, it wants us to look for these terms. These are the opinion terms it has found out and we can click to create code with opinion mining party. So I just click 
pol political party it has been created here and as we've seen earlier we can also use the codes that we, which exist here and we can drop here to provide the codes here we can also use any particular text search term so i just need to click on to uh, text search and which are the groups that i want to see say for example i want to see toi i want to see ht continue what the term for example i want to use the term campaign it shows me the 32 synonyms of that i can also include inflected forms of campaign which would be closer to campaign so if i want to see the results it is showing me 34 results where this term campaign has been there so i can just go on to those things on my document file and as you can see all the things that we've added here it is being shown here through these things so this is what i wanted to show you on on this uh, document page so these are the things that we can uh, use all these terms which are there through this uh, ai application and through these uh, text search through these named entity recognition through sentiment analysis through word frequencies concepts and opinion mining we can create codes that go with our theorization and and that helps us decide on our possible codes for analysis thanks for staying along friends as always it was a delight having you here i'll be back with another video very soon till then have a great time <laughs>